Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks today for your goodness. We thank you for your love to us. And we thank you, dear God, for allowing us to see today. We thank you for this competition this afternoon, dear God, and we thank you for each student who is participating. We ask you, dear God, to be with each one of them, even, dear God, as they have prepared. We pray that you'll help them to remember everything that they have learned so that when the questions come, dear God, they'll be able to answer. Lord Jesus, we pray for those who are nervous. We ask you to calm their nerves, dear God, and help them to be able to participate fully. We just thank you again and we pray for each person who is pre the person who is presiding over the proceedings here, dear God. We thank you for him. We thank you also for the judges, the timekeeper, the scorers, and everyone who is participating today. We ask your blessings again on this proceedings in Jesus' name. Amen. Right. Well, the BNB is not necessarily a new competition. It's been around for some years. It's a competition put on by the Christian Services Corporation and the St. George's Baptist Church. I want to invite at this time the National Coordinator, Mrs. Gail Blackett, to give some brief remarks and let you know what the competition is all about. Mrs. Blackett. Good afternoon to everyone. My remarks will be very brief. Dr. Francis Fakoya, or Chief Judge, no, Quiz Master, Dr. Tula, our Chief Judge, Ms. Nerin, Dr. Nerin Alexander, our timekeeper, scorekeeper, teachers, students, Master of Ceremony, good afternoon. I want to welcome you to our third zonal competition of the Grenada National Brain Bee. May the best brain win. Good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Blackett. I don't think you can get any shorter than that, which is good. We're about to get into the competition. But there are some distinguished people in our presence this afternoon, in our midst. Some of, some of them are performing different roles this afternoon. And so I want to take this time quickly to introduce them to you all. You would have seen him here early on, but he had to honor to come back. The CEO, Chief Executive Officer of the Christian Services Corporation, Reverend Stanford Simon. Let's give him a hand, even in his absence. The, one of the title sponsors. We have also with us our Chief Judge, a professor in the Department of Neuroscience and Physiology at the St. George's University, Dr. Tula Yalanin. She will be our Chief Judge for this afternoon. Our Quiz Master, professor in the Department of Anatomy, Histology, and Cell Biology in the St. George's University, Dr. Francis Fakoya. He will be our Quiz Master for this afternoon. Um, our timekeeper, she would have been judging one of the other competitions, she's timekeeper this afternoon. Instructor in the Department of Neuroscience and Physiology at the St. George's University, Ms. Noreen Alexander. We also have our scorers on this side, our written and our electronic scorers, Ms. Colleen Primus and Ms. Cheryl Jessamy. I want to also welcome all, the, all of the teachers who took the time to be here this afternoon. And to you, our, the, our participants of the Brain Bee competition, let's give a very round of applause to each and every one of you. Good. Uh, before I even invite the participants to come up on stage, some of you are probably not too sure what the rules are about of the competition, so I've been refreshing. And so at this time, I want to invite to take you through the rules of the game and how things are going to proceed, I will invite the chief, the quiz master for this afternoon, Dr. Francis Fakoya. So welcome him. First, let me welcome you all to this fun time in neuroscience. It's, it's a game, and you should prepare your mind to have fun. No frowning faces, no long drawn faces, just enjoy the afternoon, right? And it's a very simple thing. This is about whether you know it or you don't. You know it, you say it. You don't either say bye or just walk away from the microphone back to your seat. It's simple. So that in 15 seconds, if you can't answer it, then you don't know it. And there's no shame to it. Okay? 
Every candidate has 15 seconds. The rule of the game is the last man standing. We're going to go round and round and round until we have the last five standing. And then phase one will be done. So you're going to see that according to your numbers that you have received. And we're starting with whoever is number one. You come to the podium. The question comes to you. You answer. You get it correct. You get a green card. It means you may continue. You get it wrong, you get a red card. And at the end of the third round, anybody who has three red cards is eliminated. Right, those are the rules. And as the national director said, may the best brain win. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Fakoya. And we get ready to get into the things. There are some participants this afternoon, you would see with their number tags on them. I'm going to invite them to come on stage and to take their places. As I call the name, give them a hand as they make their way up, take their seat on the stage. Participant number one from the McDonald College, Cameron Barry. <laughs> Participant number two from the Anglican High School, Shade Dakota Charles. Participant number three, from the Grenada Boys Secondary School, Rashid Graves. Participant number four from the St. Joseph's Convent, Dominique Jeremiah. <laughs> Participant number five from the Presentation Brothers College, Jonathan Liddell. Participant number seven from the McDonald's College, Simone Francis. Participant number nine from the St. Joseph's Convent, Joselle Nichols. Participant number 10 from the Presentation Brothers College, Garth Neptune. Participant number 11, McDonald's College, Tara McQueen. Participant number 12, St. Joseph's Convent, Angel Payne. Participant number 13, Presentation Brothers College, Tariq Rayburn. Participant number 15, Grenada Boys Secondary School, Daryl Simon. And participant number 16, St. Joseph's Convent, Aaron Williams. I see we are well prepared for evening of engagement. I want to take my leave at this time, turn you over to engage in the brain bashing battle or quiz master, Dr. Francis Fakoya. Your question, what is the general name for those neurons which control the activities of muscles? The clear? No. Mm. Mm. Your question, what 
is the general name for those neurons which mediate signals related to light, sound, and chemicals or mechanical stimuli. Sensory neurons? Sensory neurons is correct. Your question. In addition to neurons, another type of central nervous system cells participate in the development of the nervous system. What are these cells? Um, really neurons. Really neurons. No. Glia cells. Glia cells is correct. Motor neurons? No. Inter neurons? Inter neurons is correct. Your question In which part of the brain will you find the thalamus? The, th the thalamus is located in the midbrain, no. the cerebrum. No. The hindbrain? No. The cerebellum? No. Your question. What is the major rule of the thalamus in the brain? Could you please repeat the question? What is the major rule of the thalamus? Um, respiratory heartbeat to um, measure heart, the heartbeat or something like that. Heart rate and um, respiratory. No. Um, memory and. No. <laughs> what kind of functions are controlled by the Memory? No. Um, respiration? No. Cognition? Cognition? No. Your uh. question. Where do you find the basal ganglia in the brain? In the forebrain. What's another name for the forebrain? The prefrontal cortex. All right, I'll give it to you. And it's correct. No question. Mm. What is the functional rule of the basal ganglia? Respiration, emotions, emotions. Frontal lobe. I won't touch that. Both. The occipital lobe. Why is the 
products for women. To increase the surface area to allow for more neurons. That is correct. Your question. Name the structure that connects the right and the left cerebral cortex. Corpus callosum. Corpus callosum. You have only one option in this question. Okay? One? Only one option. Yeah. It's an either or. Your question. Which half of the cortex handles the sensory signals of touching and the right hand? Left. Left is correct. Transmission? No. And that's part of the learning curve. 
while neurotransmission is the general term, the specific term which comes under that. And I gave you the word communication between nerves and where? Synapses will become what? Synaptic transmission. Right? Yes, so the judge thinks that you should get a point. Thank you, Judge. The question, what kind of activity in the genetic spines causes neuronal excitation or inhibition? Could you please repeat the question? What kind of activity in the genetic spines causes neuronal excitation or inhibition. Action potential. No. Sodium channels. Sodium channels is well. Listen carefully. Which ion channels are the second ones to open during action potential in action? Messages, messages, inhibition, inhibitors. Fast 
and skip along the last mile and sheet. Mile and sheet. <laughs> Your question, what cells around the peripheral systems in the lunar axon make it possible for action potential to move fast and skip along the, the axon? Please repeat. What cells around the peripheral systems in the lunar axon make it possible for the action potential to move fast and skip along the axis. Nodes of Ranvia? No. Schwann cells? Schwann cells. <laughs> yeah. If there's one thing I've learned from each of the three zones collectively is that home court support goes a long way. Um, the final is on March 19th at St. George's University, which means that no school really would have a home advantage. So my advice is that you want to bring down the entire posse to the St. George's University. Very nice. We have, if you can just give me your attention for a couple more minutes, um, I'll try to wrap up. We have some presentations to make. We want to give, uh, we would like to present each of the competitors with certificates of participation. So I want to invite the CEO of the Christian Services Corporation, Pastor Stanford Simon, I was informed, to present the certificates. Certificate of Participation, competitor number one, McDonald College, Cameron Barry. Competitor number two, Anglican High School, Shade Dikoto Charles. Competitor number three, Grenada Boys Secondary School. Right, right, right. right Rashid, Rashid. Dave. Competitor number four, St. Joseph's Convent, Dominique Jeremiah. Competitor number five, Presentation Brothers College, Jonathan Liddell. Competitor number seven, McDonald's College, Simone Francis. Competitor number nine, St. Joseph's Convent, Joselle Nichols. Competitor number 10, Presentation Brothers College, Garth Neptune. Competitor number 11, McDonald College, Tara McQueen. <laughs> Competitor number 12, St. Joseph's Convent, Angel Payne. <laughs> Competitor number 13, Presentation Brothers College, Tariq Rayburn. Competitor number 15, Grenada Boys Secondary School. <laughs> Darryl Simon. <laughs> and competitor number 16, St. Joseph's Convent, Erin Williams. Thank you very much, Pastor Simon. Five of these participants today go on to the national finals on March 19th. And to present them with their instruments of qualification, I'd like to invite Ms. Cheryl Jessamy of the Christian Services Corporation. Right. Um, I don't want to have to ask you to give me a, you know, but um, I'd like to get the words out. That's all right. If that's all right. Right. Our five finalists joining me are the 11 from zones one and two. 
in, no, in numerical order, St. Joseph's Convent, Dominique Jeremiah. Presentation Brothers College, Garth Neptune. Presentation Brothers College, Tariq Rayburn. Grenada Boys Secondary School, Daryl Simon. Okay, all right. And St. Joseph's Convent, Erin Williams. Thank you very much, Miss Jessamy. Just a quick note for those who would have made the finals from zones one and two. If you have not already, please see Miss Kathleen Algy, the one who does the registration, to dip for your positions at the national finals on March 19th. The final set of awards to be, to be presented this afternoon, positions one, two, and three. From zone three, I'd like to invite the national director, Mrs. Gail Blackett, to make those presentations. Christian Services Corporation, Brain B Challenge Zone 3, position number 3, St. Joseph's Convent, Erin Williams. <laughs> position number 2, Presentation Brothers College, Tariq Rayburn. And the winner of the Christian Services Corporation Brain B Challenge Zone 3 from the Presentation Brothers College, Garth Neptune. Thank you very much, Mrs. Blackett. And thank you to each and every one of the competitors. Shall we all stand to be dismissed, please? Remember, participants. <laughs>